Alright, so I figured I'd work on the same photo that I had posted in the group. Um, just to show you exactly how to get rid of some of this cellulite, or at least lessen it. Um, I use a couple curves layers. So the first curve layer, you'll want to um, go ahead and use that to lighten these dark areas, the shadows. And then the second curves layer is to um, darken the highlights. You may see some highlights right on the edges of the pits where the cellulite is. So I'll go ahead and make a curves layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this right in the middle, about halfway up into the next grid. Just lighten it a little bit. Then what you'll do is you'll press Control i And then that will be, you can, you can actually na rename this um, shadows if you want, but I don't. I always know that my bottom one is the, um, the, the shadows. Um, so then you'll make another curves layer, and now this time, this will be for the highlights that you'll want to darken, so you will bring this one down about halfway. Press Control i to invert that mask. Um, now you can either just start right here by going to your brush uh, at the hardness all the way at zero, so it's a soft brush. Um, you can bring your flow to 100%, 50%, um, but it's important that you bring your opacity down to, it depends on what you're comfortable with. I had to start out at like 3 or 4 or 5, but now I can actually start out at 10 and be okay, just because I've done it so many times. So, it's, it all depends on what you're comfortable with. So you can either start right now by just going ahead and painting in some lightness to these um, dark spots or to be able to see where you need to work you can actually make a black and white layer bring your reds down and this will help show you where the really dark spots are on the skin so, um, sometimes I do work with this layer, and then sometimes I just work right on the skin itself. So what I'll go do is go ahead and work on this first. Um, your high, uh, shadows layer right here, the curves, you'll want to work on this one first. You, because a lot of the spots are darker, so you'll be working more with that. You can zoom in. And then what you want to do is you'll want to press the bracket keys and um, the left and right to resize your brush. Now you want your brush about the size of or just smaller than the dark area. Um, you don't want it too small because then it'll look like lines in it. You'll want to make it just about the same size. I'm, I'm thinking right there. So um, just go ahead and start painting and you won't see much at the 10 percent while I'm doing it but I'll show you just in a second how well this actually works it is time consuming but it is probably the most natural looking way to lessen cellulite. Um, you'll find that if you use the healing or the cloning tool, the it just doesn't just doesn't look right. Um, you get splotches still and it's not very even. So oops, see that's too far. You'll just want to work on these just lightly. dark areas. Mess 
with the size of your brush. I'm going to just do a few more of these and I'll show you the difference. Like I said, just take your time. It The more you do this, the more it becomes um, a habit and you know what you're doing and the easier it gets. You can even, I see like a big dark area right here, so you can even go through right there with a large brush work on that there's some here okay I'm going to show you the difference just even just that and I'll zoom out That makes a huge difference with just that. So I'm going to work on just a few more spots here. I'm going to actually work on this without the black and white layer. Sorry. Zoom in. I'll show you how to work it without that layer too. See how they just disappear? Now sometimes you can get away with just, this looks like a vein, um, you can still even work on veins with this method too. So, as I was saying, sometimes you can get away with just working with the, the um, shadows, lightening these shadows, but then sometimes you get some cellulite that is very deep, so you might have to work on some of the highlights by darkening the highlights, and this just helps blend easier. So I'm going to stop working on this, even though I can keep working on these uh, shadows. I am going to actually stop working on these shadows and I'm going to show you um, how we can work on some of the highlights now too. So you'll see some highlights in here, right here, right in here. So You'll go to your other curves layer that you made where you brought the mid-tones down. So this will actually um, darken the brighter spots here. So now you can turn this on and you can see those spots a little bit easier like that. And just lightly come in here. This usually doesn't need as much working on as the shadows. But it helps even out the skin a little bit more. And I'm just going to do a few here and there. I'm gonna this. I can see there's some spots. You can zoom out to see even more places that you want to work on. Um, zooming out just helps you see a bigger picture of it all. And then you'll find that area, maybe like I'll work on this. 
can see it there, so I'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. And you can work on this as much or as little as you like. It all depends on how much you want to get rid of. Um, it really depends on your client on what your preferences are, um, but I'm going to actually finish this up here in a second and show you the difference just from the few minutes of working on this. So that is what was before and that's after. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and show you the difference here. This is before, and that's after. Alright, so I hope that helped you out. Um, oh, also, I don't, let me show you. You can also use this same thing with stretch marks, although stretch marks are usually permanent, so I don't work on stretch marks too much. I may lighten them just a little bit, but I want to show you that it works on stretch marks too. These, you really have to zoom in quite a bit. Get your um, brush just slightly under the size of that. So I'm going to show you here. Oops, I'm lightening that. I'm sorry. Go back. I should be darkening that area. There we go. Doesn't need much. You don't need to get rid of them, but if somebody is very self-conscious about their stretch marks, you can lighten them quite a bit using this same technique. And I'll show you just in a minute exactly how much that helps. Um, for this gal, I don't think I really lightened any because she wasn't very particular about having needing to lighten those. Um, she's pretty comfortable with her body, which is awesome. So, and I also discussed this stuff with her beforehand. And while I was editing and asked her what she thought. So I'll show you the difference there just with the stretch marks. Zoom out a little bit so you can see even more. Stretch marks. They're still there, but they're just lightened a little bit. So, alright, I hope that helped you out, guys. Alright, talk to you later.